Hey everyone, welcome back to Lambeau Field. Wabi, voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen. Between the Lions postgame report presented by Gatorade, the border battle edition. The Vikings lose this one, 21 to 16, in um, a back and forth game, a tale of two halves, however you want to characterize it. Lots of drama, lots of fight by the Minnesota Vikings. How do you feel about border battle 118, Paul? How do I feel about yeah. the way uh, we lost that game? I can tell you right now. Officer Schroeder, how are you? I'm Paul Allen. Very good. Yourself? It probably wouldn't be copacetic for you to take that billy club and whap me upside my head right now, would it? Nah, can't. No can do. No can do. God bless you and stay safe and thanks for the time. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't feel great. Probably could have done without the uh, the interception back right of the end zone. Uh, defensively speaking, are you kidding me? I mean, we get hit with that proverbial billy club through the first uh, quarter and 44 seconds. Then the defense stiffens for the rest of the game. And uh, we we have uh, myriad chances to win, and uh, the Vikings can't close on oh. it, so uh, here we go. Paul. Yeah. The defense stiffened is right. They did. The defense did even more. The defense dominated yeah. after the first quarter. Yeah. The, dominated HOF quarterback, the by the way. The were 2 of 12 on third, third downs after they went up 21-0. Yeah. I mean, Mike Zimmer and his players bowed up and responded. Yeah. They took a huge haymaker off the start and responded. Unfortunately, too many mistakes missing a field goal, yeah. a PAT blocked, a touchdown nullified by penalty, an interception in the end zone. Yeah. Too many mistakes on the road, man. Yeah, and um, you know, I try to think of uh, like certainly not speaking for the head coach or the organization, these are my opinions. But I try to think in these spots positively or negatively what the head coach is thinking and he's he's very he's a perfectionist. He's very difficult to please. And I can't imagine with the points that were given up early in the game and the way they were given up and Devontae Adams going for 99 in the first half and then Aaron Jones being able to run the way he did late. I can't imagine the coach is uh, thrilled about that. Yeah. Team is one and one, Green Bay's two and oh. Border battles are phenomenal basically every time. And you know what? Um, congratulations to Green Bay yeah. and uh, Green Bay's fans. And uh, best of luck the rest of the journey. Green Bay is a very good team. Defense much improved for sure. Very hard place to come here and play. Yeah. And uh, they're in early control of the NFC North. So congratulations to them. One last thing, the silver lining. Yeah. Zim says you get good at what you practice. The Vikings practiced all offseason, training camp, preseason at running the ball. We're good at that. Yeah, let's not, we're not going to leave the game. Now, this is a border battle, so there's vitriol with spouses and, and family members and friends and coworkers and neighbors. I understand, you know, and, and there's going to be some angst between fan bases here with the way this thing finished. However, Vikings running game, phenomenal. In fact, a second to none in the NFL, and I don't need to see other box scores. Don't at me. Uh, they also uh, they also are doing some really good things despite some key players being out. J. Ron Kurse, I thought, played well today uh, in Mackenzie Alexander's stead. Eric Wilson uh, played for Ben Gideon. I thought he played well. Uh, it's good, man. We still have 14. We still have uh, 14 games to go. Raiders in town next week. We're a one-on-one -on -one operation. Things on which to work. I wonder. Um, I wonder if, if the taser would be okay, if not the billy club. It'd be you, a lot faster. You think he'd say yes or no? No, he's gonna say no. Yeah. But it'd be a lot faster. God bless Blue and all of you. Stay safe, please. Okay. All right, Skull Vikings. This one's over. 21-16. Vikings lose. They try and rest, recover, get ready for the Raiders Sunday at noon, U.S. Bank Stadium. Between the lines. Post game report presented by Gatorade is over. Voice of the Vikings. Wabi out.